Creating Subcircuits from SPICE Models with Tina Cloud. Dot model format. In Tina Cloud, you can create your own components from any SPICE subcircuit that you have made or downloaded from the Internet. Some device models are stored in SPICE.model format. Let's download one from the Internet and add the model to Tina Cloud. Here is the model of the BC846NPN bipolar transistor. Let's save this model. In Google Chrome, click the right mouse button. In other browsers, find the Save As command. Select Save As. Switch the Save As type into All Files. And save it as a .cir file as this is one of the extensions that Tina Cloud expects. Start Tina Cloud. First, save the file under the name bc 846 testsc Note that the program automatically saves the changes into this file while we are editing. Click the Insert button, denoted by a green plus sign. To invoke the Insert menu, select Upload Macro. Let's name the new macro as BC846. Switch into From File from Current Circuit. Then click Browse. Enter BC846.CIR into the File Name field. Then click Open. Now click Upload. In the dialog box, the following message appears, Macro Uploaded. Click OK. The new model has been uploaded to your macro library. You can similarly add any SPICE models in SPICE.model format. Let's check how to insert the new model into Tina Cloud. Select Insert Macro from the Insert menu. Now select BC846, then press OK. The new component will appear attached to your cursor, and you can place it anywhere on the workspace by moving the mouse and clicking the left mouse button. Now let's create the following test circuit by adding a few more components to test the new model. Select the resistor from the basic toolbar. Use the Rotate Left or Rotate Right icon, then hold the left mouse button down while moving it and connect it to the transistor. Repeat this procedure for R2 and R3. Now double-click the resistors R2 and R3 and in their Properties window, change their parameters as shown. Change R2 to 47K and R3 to 3K, then press OK. Now select the ground and connect it to the transistor. Next, add the remaining parts and the wires. Let's test this circuit using DC Interactive Mode. Press the DC button. The model works as expected. For more information, visit our website at tinacloud.com. Visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash user slash tinadesignsuite.